going on guys welcome back to a brand new minecraft video today um we i'm gonna give a little bit of an explanation for why it's been a little while um so if you want to skip that and you don't really care uh just click the or skip to the timestamp that's on your screen and yeah that'll that'll get you into the video um but basically reason it's been a little while first thing we're gonna start off with uh school <laughs> school just started back for me and high school is frustrating. Uh, and there's a lot of work that comes with high school. And I didn't have a video prepared for the first week of high school. And if if any of you don't know, it's really hard to record, edit a, vid a video, and post it two times a week, let alone in the summer. But when I have school and I have actual responsibilities, <laughs> um, it gets a bit more intense. So I think I'm going to go down to one video a week, um, and then what we're doing today is we're doing this thing called What If, and I know what you're going to say. You're just trying to uh, clickbait a famous and popular M Marvel show, and what I would say to you is don't tell the people that don't know. Don't tell them. <laughs> because... Uh, yes, I am, but also it's a cool idea, and I really like this video, and so I hope you guys do too. But basically, we are going to be asking people, or asking, me and my friend will be asking each other, what if you were in blah 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 scenario? So, it's a fun video. It gets a little bit, I don't know, off the rails here and there, but it's fun, and I enjoyed it. So if you want to see us do another video like this, we've already done one where we did read Florida Man stories. If you want to see us do another video like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I don't feel like I say that very often. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. All right, so we are in a, be a Bed Wars game, as you can see by the fact that there's a bed in front of me and I have yellow armor on and teammates. Anyways, <laughs> today, like I said, we are here with Acer810. Say hello. Yo, what's up? And today we're going to be playing What If. It's a game I kind of created. I mean, not really. Really, I was just like, you know what, we could do this probably, maybe. So, I was, uh, we're doing it, and <laughs> that was the worst explanation ever. Um, but <laughs> basically, I'm gonna, a I'm gonna start off with asking him a question. Is that guy hack? Okay, no, he's not. And I'm gonna ask him, what if you were in blah 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 scenario? And then he'll have to give me an answer, and he'll have to elaborate, and then. Once he's once he's done with his answer, he'll ask me a what if question. I figured since what if is kind of like a big thing right now, I might as well try and get as much clickbait off of that as I can. <laughs> so here we go. All right. So first question: What if you were in a purge type scenario? So I know you've never actually seen those movies, but if you don't, and I'll, yeah, and I'll also tell my viewers. Basically, the purge is where the there are no laws for twenty four hours, and you can literally do whatever the heck you want. Um, so that's that's basically what the purge is, and like, there's no laws, no authority, nothing like that. Literally, just do whatever you want, and you'll you don't you'll get away with it. So, yeah. So, okay, so what is your are we answer? both going to answer the question, or am I the only one? No, you're that? the only one answering my question. Okay, I'll be the gotcha. only person answering your question. Cool. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm kind of, I, I feel like I'm kind of thinking like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. You know, like his whole plan was to like somehow get his brother out of office to where he could take over the Tri-State area. So what I would do is... I would just go, so, like, if you can do whatever, that means that you can get rid of whatever, like, whatever country you're in. So, you know, I mean, we're in America, yeah. obviously. So, like, I, you hold on, Okay, go... before you go into this, I think, I've never seen the movies either, but I think you, once the purge is over, you can get sent to jail for the stuff. Otherwise, it wouldn't really make much sense why they wear masks, you know? So yeah, you just do all this and oh wait, well then my plan wouldn't work because I was gonna say like you would just get rid of 
your leader, like wherever you're at, like, you know, your president or your prime minister or what have you, and then you just take over their position. But then after it's over, like if you can be kind of persecuted for that, like somebody would be like, oh, this isn't the president or mayor or senator or insert whatever official you want that we had before this. Like what happened? Yeah. So that plan wouldn't work. Um, we I'd honestly have to look into that, but let's just say for good old sake, so I don't have to just edit and go to a moment where I have looked that up. Let's just say you can't get in trouble for it even after the purge is over. Okay, so what like, would you whatever do? you've done, you're just immune for it forever. Yeah. Okay. So then, yeah, that's definitely what I would do. First of all, uh, first of all, I would just I would take over government office, like. I would just I would go straight up to the top um, because that's the only logical thing to do. You have 24 hours. You should just try to become president in 24 hours. That's how that's how politics should work. I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> can't tell. Um, but yeah, I, I don't really know what else I would do. Um, I mean, I know that I could change up some laws because like I think it's dumb that the after you've been president, like you can't drive anymore. So like I would yeah. make it to where it wasn't it could still drive. I don't know. There's there's a lot of things I'd do. Uh, that's funny. I would just pretty much make myself immune, like change term limits, because you know I'm essentially going against every political value that I hold, but I don't really care. My what if question, I, I kind of thought about it like whenever I went on my whole rant. So like if you were in a position of power, so like say for example you were the president, what like what would you do? Oh gosh, this is a hard question. Um, what would I do yeah, if I was? There's a lot of different ways you can go with this. Like right you can there. go serious or funny, or you can do a little bit of both, or like there's all kinds of things you can do. If I was the president, I would make to where it is an option, but the the lowest you can be hired in every single state is fourteen. Don't ask why. I definitely don't have a personal vendetta against every single <laughs> <laughs> place ever. But the 14 and the highest is 15. They're like, well, the, the next, like, the one it has to be is 15. It can't, like, just be, like, has, you have to be 16. And then yeah. from up from there. I would definitely do that. I, like I said, this is not a personal thing. This is just some things I think would help other people and definitely not myself. <laughs> <laughs> definitely not no definitely not not um, influenced by personal experience whatsoever <laughs> but yeah so definitely that I would make honestly I would make it to where like food prices like at like restaurants aren't so freaking high because there are some restaurants that are just a bit ridiculous with the prices of their food like even fast food restaurants Agreed. So I would I would do that because there's yeah, no like I, reason. I went to Wendy's the other day and it was like ten bucks. There's no reason an entire meal from Chick Fil A should be like fourteen dollars. Amen. Like that's that's a bit it's a bit ridiculous. Yeah. But anyways, um, I'm trying to think. I feel like I don't know why, but I feel like I've thought about this before. <laughs> so. <laughs> I, I'm trying to think of what I've already had, like, preconceived in my mind for this scenario, but I can't really think about it. Um, oh, yeah, definitely, I would make it to where the, the driving law, like, uh, certain areas would either have higher speed limits or lower speed limits, because right where I live, there's, like, a four-lane highway, and the speed limit is 40 miles per hour. It's oh, yeah, a four really lane annoying. highway. It's so annoying to drive. Like, on. why, dude? But yeah, definite. That would that would definitely be pr like pretty much anything I'd change. So it sounds like all of these are just personal. Then they are not. Know. We are back in a different game because I was like, I don't want all the questions to be in one game. But anyways, so next question: What if? You were bitten by a radioactive spider, and it gave you spider powers. Would you choose to become a hero, like Spider-Man, or a villain, 
And what would you do with the powers? And what would your name be? It can't be Spider Man or Spider or whatever the other like any of the other Spider names. It has to be your own unique name. Okay. So I know what my name would be. The Arachnid. That would be a cool name. Okay, that's but... that's really close to an already stated Spider Man name, but no, it's not. Yeah, there's one called there's one uh, Spider like version called the arachna kid whatever <laughs> um it's not uh, it's different okay this is dangerously I, close but whatever i would say like i want to say a hero because like spider-man is literally my favorite marvel character mine but too the arachnid sounds like more of a villain name i wouldn't yeah. want to go for like the whole villain thing but that sounds more like a villain name you um correct. it does let's see um let's see honestly spider-man would make like a great well not spider-man but like spider-man powers you could use them to be like a firefighter or like something like that so easily because if there's somebody trapped up in like a building then you can just like climb up the building even like if the stairs and the elevators and whatnot are down like you could just like climb up the building or like swing up to the building or like yeah definitely okay i'm trying to think of which one to do but i'm gonna do both of them so it doesn't matter okay so my first one if you had the ability to change like the public's opinion about something like if you had the ability to just it it would be kind of like a mind control thing like if you had the ability to change somebody's opinion or change like the public's opinion what would you change their opinion on like for good or for bad like something that you think that most people in the public wouldn't think Oh gosh, um, that's an intense question. Honestly, question. I would change their opinion on like Marvel or DC, like not like ch so much change their opinion. Like, no, you have to like Marvel. I'd just make it to where like it's not such an intense battle because there are people on Instagram and Twitter and stuff who go absolutely insane about that, and yeah. it's a bit ridiculous. So I'd kind of make it more of like a civil thing, not so much. Yeah, make uh, it less toxic. Yeah, definitely. That yeah, that's that's a good choice. Um, and then also, I would change people's like opinions and views on like uh. Sorry. What just happened? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> people's opinions and views on it. <laughs> <laughs> I just like turned. I just got on fire, and then. Uh, this guy like came after me, and I couldn't see what I was doing because my screen was covered in fire. Anyways, their views on like uh certain, like specifically on the Beatles, because I mean you probably know this because you like the Beatles, but a lot of people have like really negative views on them, uh -huh. and like yeah, you can have those opinions, but they like try to force other people to have those opinions too, like people who actually like the Beatles. Mm -hmm. So I definitely be like no don't do that like sure whatever have your own opinion don't be like mindless robots yeah. but at the same time don't try to force other people to have your opinion because yeah that's, a, that's and also that's like you know it, even if you don't necessarily agree with like you know like like the, maybe if you don't like the beatles as much like yeah. still respect what they did like yeah. probably the majority of the music you listen to is going to be influenced by them in some way shape or form unless of course it came before them yeah, definitely. Um, but, like, just at least give them the respect they deserve, even if you're not a huge fan of it. And I think that with a lot of things, like, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a huge fan of certain musicians, but I can respect what they did, like, for music as a whole or for their genre or for uh, a community or, you know, stuff like that. Just, yeah. I think, giving people more of, like, a mutual respect for it instead of just being so, like, negative about it. Yeah. If you just all of a sudden got a billion dollars out of absolutely nowhere, what would you decide to do with it? Ooh, okay. One billion. This isn't One just like a dollars. few. That, yeah, that's, that's a lot this of money. This is a lot of money. Um, okay. So the first thing that comes to mind for me is... I think there are a lot of like really creative people 
um, whether that be in music or art or dance or in writing or any other creative category you can think of design like any of the stuff that don't really have like an outlet for that um and that don't really have like a place to grow in that and really like you know hone that skill or hone that ability into anything useful it's just kind of like yeah i can write really well or i can you know so uh, <laughs> Like, I can write music really well, I can play really well, stuff like this, but, like, they don't really have an outlet or a way to share that. Like, giving them some sort of platform where they can not only learn from other people, but also be able to share and get their get their gifting and their, talenting, their talent out there. Um, because I know for me, like, for a while I was like, well, I know how to do this, but, like, I don't know what to do with it. Yeah. And so giving other people that opportunity would be really cool. I don't know really what the logistics of that would be. Like, you know, how exactly I would pull that off, but I think that would be something really cool to do. Yeah. Um, definitely. So yeah, and I also like I don't know how much money that would take, so I don't know how much money I'd have left, so I'll just leave it there cuz yeah. Let's say after doing all that, you still had 3 million dollars left. What would you do with it? Okay, with an extra three million, um, I've always kind of wished that there was like a community center near here, like you know where you could just go. I think there it was is. Just, it was. Is there? Yeah. Oh well, maybe there is, and I've just never known about it. But like, <laughs> that's always been something where I'm like, oh, I really wish that there could just be this place, yeah. like. Where people go from what I've they, seen, like I've never. Yeah, I've never been on the inside of it, but from what I've seen, it's not a very nice one. Oh, it's like yeah, but maybe that's why I don't know about it. Then. Yeah, but um, but that's always I've I've thought about that for years. I'm like, that would be so cool to just have a place, you know, like where people who have mutual interests could meet up and you know share that. You know, it's kind of going off of the same thing that I was saying earlier. But just, you know, like a safe place for families to take their kids and for, you know, for teenagers to hang out with their friends, like whenever they're first starting to get some of that freedom of being able to go out on their own and, you know, just stuff like that. Just a safe place. Cause, yeah. Yeah, that would be that would be really cool. And I'd also like, just because family is really important to me, you know. Yeah, I'd like to answer that last part of that question, the uh, $3 million part. If I had $3 okay. million, the first thing I'd do is buy my entire family a house, like yeah, a, a new house, uh, just because they've done like a lot for me. So, and then yeah. probably I would definitely give to some charity. I've looked into charities in the past to give whatever money I had at that time to. Yeah, I'd definitely give money to charity, and then honestly, that'd probably still leave me with a decent amount. I'd give a million dollars to charity. And probably buy yeah. a million dollar house for my well, maybe not that. I just I don't want them to have to like hire a maid or anything. I'd buy them a decent like a four hundred thousand dollar house, which is a pretty nice house, but you don't have to like you don't have to try like too hard to keep up with it or whatever. Yeah. But uh and then probably the other million. I don't know. So like you'd be I'd you'd probably have, like, buy a nice house, but not like a snobby house. Like yeah. you don't want to be like a snobby like, oh I have a bigger house than you, I have to hire a maid. Yeah, I'd probably, like, buy either my dad or my brother, or both, more, like, really nice car, like, really, like, like hot rods, because they both love that kind of stuff. I do, too, but yeah. that'd probably be what I'd do for, like, the last million dollars, but... Nice. Yeah. All right, your question now. Okay. Um, this is kind of based on something that I've done very recently. So, if there was... I'm I'm going to branch this off into a few categories just because I feel like there's a few categories that this can go for. So if if there was like one uh here I'll list off a few categories. Okay, so like albums, uh movies yeah. and let's see, TV shows and books. Those are going to be the four categories. If you could, like, not necessarily for somebody, but, like, if you could be, like, you know, everybody, like, you would say, like, this is what I want everybody to listen to or everybody watch. Like, just because, like, if people are apprehensive about it, because, like, you know, 
recently i um you know whenever i showed you an album like i kind of had to force you to do it but then you ended up liking it so just kind of something like that where it's like uh, something that a lot of people are skeptical about but then if they actually like give it the time that it's actually like really good so like something like that yeah i i think that makes sense that makes sense right yeah it does uh if okay. i had the so forcefully but not forcefully make someone like watch or read something right uh-huh okay i, I, I was just i, I was making sure i'd understand the question yeah so like I, a movie so you can do a movie a tv show uh album and a um uh crap what was the other one? Oh, and a book okay or like a, and it can be like a series it can be like a movie series or a book series or something like that okay um so first thing I would make you <laughs> watch either Psych, which is a great show for my viewers if you haven't watched it, The Flash, which is also a great show if you haven't watched it, or there's this YouTube show, basically, that I love that also viewers, if you haven't watched it, go check out the channel, called Project 863, that I think you would really enjoy, but you, like, for some reason are so just hooked on the stupid Simpsons that you won't go freaking watch it. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. You wouldn't necessarily have to force me to watch it. I just, I, I, I'm in the middle of a show right now and it's a very long show. Yeah. Cause you started from season one and you're in what season 24. I think I'm in 23 right now. And I started at yeah. Christmas. So in, and about, in about eight months, I've watched 23 seasons of the... Oh, my gosh. You honestly probably shouldn't so say time. that out loud. Yeah, that saying that makes me feel like I've wasted a heck of a lot of time. Because you have. Because <laughs> you could have wasted all that time watching other shows that are better. Well, I've gotten a lot of good laughs out of The Simpsons. So, just, just let me have that. I will not. I will continue <laughs> to feel this way about this. You bought what? me a Simpsons shirt like two weeks ago. Yeah, you because be you're obsessed with it. Book series and album? Yeah, and it doesn't have to be a book series. It can be a singular book, but I can imagine it's probably going to be a series. Yeah, it is. Uh, I would make you read The Land of Time, or The Land of Stories, not Land of Time, sorry. Uh, either The Land of Stories, or I have this one series written by Stan Lee called Zodiac or something like that. Really good uh -huh. series if you haven't read it, guys. And it's like a, it's kind of like about superpowers, but they're all based on the zodiac signs. Uh, but I'd make you read either one of those two. And you said album. Yeah, album. Uh. I don't know, because I've already I've already made uh you know, person we definitely did not say the name of before asking their permission that I don't know if they actually want to have their name put in the video. So, yeah, we definitely did not do Stop that. It. I'm asking my question now. I, I'm asking my, reason, I'm asking, I'm asking story, my, but... I'm asking. So this is, this is another superhero question. I don't know why I'm stuck on superhero kind of questions. Superhero. Yeah, because we're talking about what if. So um, it, the first thing that comes to my mind is superhero stuff. The Marvel show. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, anyways, what if you, this isn't really, but. What if you had, you had some sort of serious in injury, to where like you mm -hmm. wouldn't be able to walk again, and you ha and you had the opportunity to get like an Iron Man suit, would you uh -huh. just use it like to be able to walk, or would you use it for villainy or superheroism? The superheroism. <laughs> okay, heroism. Okay. So, like, does it have, like, so it, it's literally just an Iron Man suit, like, with all the capabilities and abilities of, like, Tony Stark. You suit. can get it completely customized, cu down to the, literally the color and metal it's made out of. Okay, so it's fully customizable, whatever yes. the heck you want to be. Okay. Um... I hate this game. I would, I would probably say... And I know this seems kind of like a cheap answer, but I would just say I would just use it like Iron Man would. Like, I would... I mean... Because yeah. of the most 
like just anticlimactic answers. I know, I know, I know, but <laughs> that's just that's just who I am. I can't help it. You're anticlimactic. <laughs> no, I'm not saying anticlimactic. I'm saying like <laughs> I'm just always like. You heard it here first, folks. Mr. Acer810 is anticlimactic. <laughs> I'm not saying I'm anticlimactic. Yeah, that, we we all heard it. We all heard it come out of your mouth. Such a it's such a boring answer. Okay, well, then I don't know. Okay, fine. Let's change up the question a bit, a little bit. What if? Okay. Or, well, just like the, the you had the ability to make an, a completely customizable Iron Man suit. What would you customize about it? Okay, so like, what would I do that Tony Stark didn't do? No, it can be stuff he did and stuff he didn't okay. add. Different oh, colors, okay. what type of metal you make it out of, all that. Okay, first of all, I would make it out of vibranium because <laughs> why he didn't make it out of vibranium in the first place, I think, is idiotic. Well, he didn't know uh, vibranium was a thing. I well, I know canonically why he didn't, but. I'm saying, like, once he did discover vibranium, why he didn't make a vibranium suit, like, can, has confused me to this day. Because, um, uh, spoiler alert, he died? <laughs> well, I, okay, I'm not even saying, like, just in the movies, like, even in the comics, like, as far as I know, and I may be wrong, like, he never made a vibranium suit or an adamantium suit. Why would you not make either a vibranium or an adamantium suit? Because he was too, like... He was too like cocky, and he just used the adamantium shield mock-up for a lift on his pipe thing. Yeah, I know, I know. And no, it wasn't adamantium; it was vibranium shield. Oh yeah, that's right. Adamantium is Wolverine's claws uh, and his bones. Okay, Jeez. well, shut up. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so yeah, I would, I would make either. Can you? You can't combine adamantium and vibranium, can you? No, I don't think you can okay. combine vibranium. Bri- bri- either one of them with anything. Yeah, I don't. Well, no, they have like vibranium alloy. I think that's combined with something else. One little future fact here: um, adamantium is actually made of a steel and vibranium mixture that is kept molten hot. And and it's literally like in the liquid state, but when once it sets, it becomes completely unbreakable and indestructible. Uh, fun little fact there that I actually did not know: um, adamantium is made when you combine a steel alloy with vibranium. So technically, Wolverine is made up of a decent amount of vibranium. Okay, anyways, back to the video. I would do either a vibranium or an adamantium suit, or I could do both. Like, I could have the option for either because there's uses for either. So then it would, I would work very closely with um, Shuri and T'Challa on this to where then, oh, well, actually, T'Challa didn't really work in the suit. I would work closely with Shuri on this to where I could have, um, like, the thing where um, T'Challa's suit absorbs the, like, the energy from hits that he receives and then like be able to send that back out. That would be a really important idea to have. Essentially what I'm saying is I would just fuse black Panther suit with the Iron Man suit. And Mm -hmm. then I think also I'm trying to think of another thing that I would do because I had another idea and then I forgot. Um, Crap. I can't remember what I was going to say. Oh, and then I could... Uh, no, that would be kind of redundant. I was going to say I could get some web shooters installed on it, but, like, I can already fly, so web shooters are kind of pointless. Yeah. I mean, that would be... Just imagine seeing Iron Man just, like, web shooting, though. That'd be pretty cool. It'd be redundant, but it'd be freaking cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well... I, I guess that's a good answer. I guess whatever. But okay, well, I gave a more in-depth answer than just <laughs> I would be a good guy. You're I would, welcome. I would be good and not break laws. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to think of a, a fourth question. What, <laughs> um, okay. Um. Ooh. 
Okay, if you could combine any two, like, cinematic or, like, book universes, or just if you could combine two universes of, like, characters, and I know this has been done to death with, like, you know, you'll have, you know, for example, like, I don't know why this is the first thing that comes to my mind, but, like, Scooby-Doo, and didn't they, like, cross over with Batman one time? Oh, yeah, they've done that a lot. And then they did that with the Ninja Turtles, and... Okay, anyways, what crossover would you want to, like, make happen? Ooh, like, no, if you but... could combine um, movie universes, but combine, like, uh, like, DC and Marvel did this once in the comics. They could not only combine the universes, they combine the characters themselves. I would combine the Pirates of the Caribbean universe with the Marvel universe, and I'll tell you what some of the characters would combine with. So, the first character that would combine which I feel like everyone will probably see this coming, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man with Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow. Because who see, doesn't want to see that? I would want to see that, but I think an even better combo with Captain Jack Sparrow would be oh my God. Chris Pratt's <laughs> Star-Lord. Captain Dude. Jack Sparrow. Yes, I did, because if I don't say Captain, <laughs> then I'm going to comment on this video and say <laughs> Captain. <laughs> so you, somebody will change their YouTube name to Captain Jack Sparrow and correct me if I don't say Captain. So <laughs> I would I would rather see Captain Jack Sparrow with Star Lord. That would be hilarious. But it doesn't match the two characters though. I like I, I would love to see the clash between the two. Like characters. if like between this the is gonna get a little. Okay, because we're talking about the MCU, this is going to get a little not family friendly. But uh, like uh Iron Man is an alcoholic and so is Johnny Depp's Jack Sparrow. So it would clash perfectly like the characters are mixed. They look they kind of look the same with like their facial stuff. But and their their mannerisms would be cool. But like just imagine Iron Man wearing a pirate's hat, like a metal pirate's hat built <laughs> into his suit and f piloting a flying like pirate ship that looks like an <laughs> airplane just imagine that so instead of Enjoy. instead of the donut like in infinity war you just see spider-man and iron man up on a giant pirate ship <laughs> in the sky <laughs> up in space it's just a floating black pearl essentially yes. out of vibranium essentially yes but davy jones um uh... with ultron dude the sarcastic, oh yes, deadpan humor of the both of them would go together so well, and neither of them have a nose. That too, but could you imagine <laughs> like a pirate, a pirate version of Ultron with tentacles like on his face, like that would oh look so God. like metallic tentacles, like robotically and not so great looking mechanically move. That would be so cool. Yeah. Like they kind of like be like glitchy then, almost. And that would go so well with the whole, like, Iron Man, Jack Sparrow thing, because they both have, like, a personal vendetta against them, and they, both of those characters, like, made them become what they are. Like, Iron Man made Ultron what he is. Yeah. And uh, Jack Sparrow, like, was the one who forced Davy Jones to be the captain of the Dutchman. Uh... I'm trying to think of a good mix for, like, a Black Widow or somebody like that, because she's kind of, she's been triple agents before, so, like... There, the the red the red the red hair woman that slaps Jack Sparrow. Uh just the random woman who's on the dock yeah. that has like no importance in the story. No. She has to be like <laughs> that that whole scene or the actually the multiple scenes where like everybody's pointing their guns at each other. Like I, I honestly I would I now that I think about it, I would rather see Elizabeth mix with um uh Black Widow. Instead of Elizabeth and with Wanda, I just got an idea. Yeah, okay, definitely that Elizabeth Black Widow. Uh, because but she has that whole like triple agent thing, wherever she's like about to shoot like everybody, which yeah. I feel like that's the most Black Widow thing ever. Yeah, and then okay, I would actually switch up Will Turner from Captain America. I would make Will Turner be Spider Man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then what is the bad guy's name in Deadman's Chest? Deadman's Chest. It's Davy Jones. No. Deadman's Tales. Oh yeah, Deadman's Tales. I 
I don't know why I said Dead Man's Chest. I literally just watched that movie the other day. Um, it is. I know who you're talking about, and he has a really cool looking face. Um, yeah, and I have him in Lego form, literally in my room, right next to my desk. Oh, I remember. I I know who you're talking about, and I I can I can see his face super clearly. But he has I a very punchable remember. face. Yes, he does have a very punchable face, and I know. So, um, I figured since we're talking about you know Pirates of the Caribbean, I'd be on a pirate ship. Um, there's there was like a minute because I typed in the wrong thing three times. Uh, there's a minute I had to edit out, but um, a few uh, Google searches later is Captain Salazar. Salazar, yep. He would be he mixed always, he with. Find... He would be mixed with Thanos. Okay. I can see that because they both have like kind of good intentions, but they just carry them out terribly. Yeah, I can so see that. So definitely okay. Thanos. Or you don't say it like Thanos. You're not one of the children of Thanos. That's the way it's supposed to be said. Okay. No. I don't care what you have to I know say that's about it. To be said, but it sounds weird and it makes you sound like Ebony Maw, and I don't like it. Ebony Maw's cool. Ebony Maw is cool, but he's dude, his also cosplay super... of Squidward, I love that, dude. That was the only reason <laughs> I went to see Infinity or Infinity War. Yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. That'll be the end of this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. But first, Acer810 has some sort of comment challenge he wants you to ask you. I don't, I don't know. Anyways, take it away. Okay, so I want you all to comment what actor you would choose if you could build like a team for. Uh, if you could build a team out of all of the characters that they played. So, for example, like, we were just talking about um, Samuel L. Jackson. So, like, you would have Frozone, and you would have Nick Fury and Mace Windu, and then uh, the character that he plays in that gangster movie, I forgot the name uh, because I've never seen it, um, and, you know, just other characters like that. Or if you had, for example, Chris Evans, you'd have, like, Captain America, the Human Torch, whatever character he plays in Knives Out, I've never seen that. <laughs> um, you know, so, so just stuff like that. If you if you could choose, um, but yeah, because I I'm kind of curious about that. Like, what actor would make like your super team of characters? There you go. You're welcome. All right. Um. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, the videos are gonna be a bit more scarce from now on because the school did start. Once I finish school, though, videos should be coming out at the normal rate. But uh, thank you all so much for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Bye, guys.